This morning, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees announced the war in Ukraine has led to the fastest growing refugee crisis in Europe since World War II. Many of those refugees are women and children, as men aged 18 to 60 have been required to stay behind and fight for Ukraine. Most of those fleeing the war are crossing into Poland, where officials are working around the clock to process and care for their neighbors to the east. NBC's Ellison Barber has our Sunday focus from the Polish border with Ukraine. More than one and a half million refugees have fled Ukraine since Russia invaded 10 days ago. But I can't go back because there is no place to go back anymore. The UN says nearly half of the people fleeing Ukraine are children. I have my mother, I have a little sister, dog, and father says that we must go to Poland because it's too dangerous to stay in Ukraine. People are fleeing from every corner of Ukraine, pouring into neighboring countries by the thousands, the largest number crossing into Poland, according to the UN Refugee Agency. What are your friends saying to you? I mean, what is it like right now to be a teenager in Ukraine? Well, like uh, they really, really, really hate Russians a lot. Like uh, they, they came, uh, like uh, Russians, they came to occupy another, another country. Like they are uh, really angry with Russia and of course they are also scared. Using a directive established after the Balkan Wars, the European Union unanimously agreed to offer temporary protection to Ukrainian refugees and third country nationals with protected status or permanent residency in Ukraine. It gives Ukrainian refugees access to housing, education, other social welfare programs. They don't have to file individual asylum claims, and it can be extended up to three years. Ludmila believes Ukraine will win this fight, but at 83, she fears this is the last she'll see of her beloved Ukraine. But it's so painful in my heart. We've been to six crossings on the Polish-Ukrainian border and have seen the best of humanity. Kindness, bravery. I brought my daughter to safe place, to Czech Republic and my parents, and now I'm returning back to help my husband and my friends in this fight. Eight-year-old Angelina is trying to stay warm as her mother figures out where they'll go next. They just made it to Poland. Her brother and father stayed in Ukraine to fight. You're very brave. Did you know you were so brave? Do you know you were so brave? Yeah. Yes, I am. What do you want other kids who are watching this to know? Um, I want them not to be afraid and not to worry. I want them to listen to their parents because their parents love them more than anyone else. She is so brave. And Ellison joins me now live from Poland along the Ukrainian border. Ellison, good morning. It's great to see you. We heard this morning, as I said, from the UN Commissioner on Refugees, reaching back to World War II for a comparison to what you've been seeing there at the border. So how does this crisis, by the way, only days old, already measure historically? I mean, the numbers, the time, it's almost incomprehensible. We are at just one makeshift refugee camp, and we have seen a steady flow of people coming and going, picking up basic necessities, grabbing some food, sitting in tents to try and stay warm before they figure out where they go next, where they go from here. The UN said in the first seven days of this war, a million people fled Ukraine. When you look back at other crises, other refugee crises, like Venezuela. In 2014, the UN talked about how a million people had fled the country in seven months, and that was a lot. You look at Syria, fighting there began in 2011. In 2013, that's when the UN said that a million refugees had fled the country. Obviously, the circumstances around those three are different. You have a situation here where neighboring countries have opened their arms to refugees, and that unfortunately did not happen in other situations. But in terms of the numbers, one million refugees in just seven days, it is staggering and arguably in modern times, completely unprecedented. Willie.
and already up to a million and a half. As you said, though, the best of humanity standing up to the worst of it on the other side of the border. Ellison Barber, a great report again from Poland this morning. Thanks so much, Ellison. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.